Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over how to open a PDF file in the Lightbox widget. Uh, so when I first released the Lightbox widget, this question was asked a few times, you know, can I can I open a PDF file in the Lightbox? And uh, yes, you can. And it's actually very simple. Uh, so that's what I'll be going over in this video tutorial. So here I have an example website and it says click icon to open PDF. And if I click on the icon, we can see this PDF opens. Uh, now this PDF is the Muse keyboard shortcuts for, for Mac that I got off the Adobe help uh, website there, the Adobe Muse help website. Um, and we have this PDF and Chrome has really great support for PDFs. Um, it allows you to download, print, uh, change the rotation or orientation of the PDF file, allows you to see the entire PDF file or fit the PDF file within the window, allows you to zoom in and zoom out. So it has really great support. Uh, Safari and Firefox also support PDF files, um, but I think it's just Chrome that has all these great features here when viewing a PDF. Uh, but in either case, uh, you can open PDFs in Safari and Firefox as well. Uh, so this is being opened with the light box and uh, you just click the icon and it opens the light box. So you can click the X or click anywhere within uh, or anywhere outside the light box. And if I refresh here, just want to showcase here, uh, this is animating text and I'll be releasing that widget very soon. Um, so if anyone wants to animate text, uh, you'll be able to animate text very soon as well. All right, so I'll go ahead and jump into Adobe Muse. Uh, this is what the website looks like and I'm just going to go to file right up here and click on new site and then I'll click OK and I have a blank website. So the first thing I did was set the browser fill to black by going to the browser fill drop down and selecting black. All right. And then I, I have a an illustrator file with a few icons. So I'm just going to open that. And it was this icon here of kind of this pen and uh, paper here. So I'll hit Command-C to copy, go into Muse, and Command-V to paste. So Muse has great support for vector graphics from, that are you know, drawn in Illustrator. You just copy and paste, and it gets pasted into Adobe Illustrator, uh, excuse me, Adobe Muse as a scalable vector graphic uh, in here. And it retains its quality, so you can make it as large or small as you'd like. And the image, the graphic, will retain its quality because it's actual code within the website. Uh, so here I have the icon, and then I'm just going to add some text below. So I'm going to go to the text tool to the left. I'm not going to use the animated text widget quite yet because I haven't released it. So I'm just going to add some text here. So I'm going to say click icon to open PDF. Okay, and I'll make this a bit larger, set it to white. And for the font, yeah, I'm using the text options right up here. Uh, for the text, I'm going to set it to Roboto Light. All right, and then I'm going to center it. And there we go. So there I have the text and the icon. So the next thing I'll do is add the PDF file to my Adobe Muse website. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, right up here, File, and then I'm going to go to Add Files for Upload. So I'll click here. And I'll zoom out and then I have this PDF here, this Muse keyboard shortcuts for Mac. So I'll double click there. And now if I go to my assets, I can see that I have this PDF file in my assets and we're going to use that in a second. So the next thing I want to do is link this PDF to, or excuse me, link this icon to the PDF. So I'll click on the image here, the SVG. I'll go to the hyperlink section here in the upper toolbar and I'll click the drop down. And we can see for files, we have Muse keyboard shortcuts, Macintosh, and I'll click. And now this uh, icon is linked to the PDF. So if I go to file, preview page and browser, and I click on the icon, it opens the PDF in that same window. So it's not in the light box, but it's still linked to the PDF. So that's one way of linking the PDF. But I do want it to open in the light box so the user doesn't have to navigate away from the website. So I'll go back to Adobe Muse, and this is where I'm going to bring in the light box widget. So I'm going to go to the library panel here to the right. 
I'll open up the library panel. Um, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. All right, so here in the library panel, I'm gonna type in the light box and I'm gonna bring in the light box at first. I'm not gonna bring in the light box at first with gradient because I don't want a gradient for the light box background. Um, if I did want a gradient, I would use the at first with gradient. So here I'll just drag in the at first and place it here at the top. And then I'll go back into the library panel and I'll bring in the Lightbox widget. So I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Now we notice um, here we see it says GS Lbox one and GS stands for, for graphic style. And if we open the widget, the graphic style name is Lbox one and here we can see it's Lbox one as well. So we want to apply this graphic style to this icon here. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the graphic styles panel. Cause what we're essentially doing is linking this icon to the light box widget here or the, the light box. So here I have the icon selected. I'll go to my graphic styles panel here to the right. If you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles. So here with the graphic styles panel open, I want to click on this icon down here that looks kind of like a piece of paper and I want to create a new graphic style with the icon selected. So I'm going to click on that icon and then we see a new graphic style uh, has been created. So I want to double click on this graphic style here. So I'm going to double click and this graphic style dialog box opens and here I can rename it to Lbox1. So now this icon has the graphic style name Lbox1 applied to it. So when I click on this icon, the light box will open. And because this icon is also linked to the PDF, it'll open the PDF. So let's see how that looks. I'll go to file, preview page and browser, and I'll click. And just like that, we have the PDF in the light box. Uh, so it's just that simple. So I'll review the steps really quick. So the first thing we did is we added the icon, we added the text. Then we added the PDF, so we went to File, and we went to Add Files for Upload, and then we selected the PDF, and then we linked the icon to the PDF, because now it's in our assets, so in the hyperlink section, it's in, in the file section, so we linked the icon to the PDF. Then we added the Add First, the, the Lightbox Add First, and then we added the Lightbox widget and because the lightbox has the graphic style name Lbox1, we applied that graphic style name to this icon. So when this icon is clicked, it opens the lightbox. Uh, so th those are the steps to add a PDF to the lightbox. And just one more styling thing that I'd like to do is add a nice kind of yellow browser border to the background. So I'm gonna go to my library panel and I'm gonna type in browser border and I'm gonna bring in browser border all sides with image. So I'm going to click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. All right, and then for the border width, I'm gonna say 30. And for the color, I actually wanna sample this yellow color from this icon. So I'm gonna create a rectangle and just kind of over here to the left with the rectangle tool. And for the fill, I'm gonna go to the fill dropdown. I'm gonna select the dropdown and I'm gonna select the sample color uh, tool here. So I'll click and then I'm gonna sample this yellow here for, from this icon. So I'll click and that yellow is here in the swatches. So it's been sampled and I'm gonna click this icon to add the swatch to my swatches panel. And I'm gonna click okay. And now that yellow has been added to the swatches panel. Okay, and I can delete this rectangle here. I can go into the browser border and then add that yellow that's been added to the swatches panel. All right, looks good. So now if I preview, file preview page and browser, you now I have that nice border around the site and I click the, the icon and there we have the, the PDF in the light box. So let me go back into the add first cause I wanna change the color of the light box background as well. It's kind of a dark blue. I can either say black for this one or I'd either choose black or this yellow as well. So I'll choose this yellow and the opacity is 0.9. So it'll be a little bit see-through. Zero is not visible and one is, is completely solid. So 0.9 has a little bit of see, it's gonna be a bit see-through. So now I'll preview in the browser. And when I click, 
we have that yellow uh, background to the light box, so it kind of matches the site a bit. All right, so that's it. We have the PDF in the light box. Um, so yeah, it's, fair, it's a few steps. I know this video was a bit longer than it probably needed to be, but I did want to go through all the steps on how to add it and then just go through a few you know, other styling options there. Um, so to get access to the Lightbox widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on subscribe now and the Lightbox widget is right here so you can click on it. Um, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Um, you can subscribe here or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here. Um, here are the features included, a few of the widget options, a video on how to use the light box, uh, the community section, and the preview page is up here as well. So you can kind of see the different things you can do with it. You can open a YouTube video, Vimeo, website, images, Google Maps, and so on. Um, so that is the Lightbox widget. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.